Boy, do I love having to redo a video because the original audio from the video I tried to record decided to have a bunch of noise in it. Yay! Greetings, everyone! Eric here, and welcome back to another video. In this one, where I'm having to re record this part because I screwed up the audio on the other one, we're going to be talking about the Rosewill AIO water cooler. Okay, so normally I would have the box or the product itself here in front of me, but I have it currently stored away because I was not planning on doing this again. Um, I recorded all this once before, and then I went to listen to the footage, and the audio was completely useless. <laughs> like, completely useless. It had so much, like, no, it, I'm playing a clip on it right now. There we go. Greetings everyone, Eric here, and welcome back to another video in- Yeah, that, that hum, apparently, uh, instead of using the battery in my camera, I decided to plug it into the wall using a wall adapter. And the microphone that I clipped on me was plugged into the camera, and so it picked up ground noise. Right now, I am using my Audio-Technica microphone, basically as a boom mic, hopefully it sounds good, and hopefully that's not getting picked up too much. That's my new computer anyway. On to this video, um, I decided to do some fun little testing with a cheap little Rosewill um, AIO that I got. Um, it's only, I got it for like 50 bucks, um, just as kind of a reference here, I'm having to pull up some things. The cooler that's in there right now that I'm that I'm kind of putting up against the AIO is the Cooler Master, let me get the thingy. The Cooler Master Master Air MA620P. Um, I'm trying to get order details so I can see how much I spent for this bloody thing. Um, I bought this for about 50 bucks. So it is literally the exact same price that I spent on the Rosewill. And I wanted to see how the uh, prices, or not the prices, but how the thermals were going to be between the two of them. Um, so I did some testing. Um, to make things fair, um, I had the side panel off because, uh, this little side panel window off because I wanted to make sure that I could easily swap things very quickly. Um, and I made sure to do that for all the tests because I wanted it to be, um, all the same. I wanted them to be due under the same conditions. The room was about, I have everything written down here. The room was about between 64 and 66 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, I'll put a conversion up here on what that is in Celsius. And I ran them all. Um, first, I would let them be on in the computer for a certain amount of time. Um, for the AIO, I left it on pretty much all day before I did my testing, so it had at least eight hours of um, saturation time for the water to really get saturated. Um, instead of thermal paste, I decided to get a um, graphite thermal pad that I got from, uh, I think their company's name is Innovation. And I would heard a lot of things about them, and I heard that they, at the very least, are as good as thermal paste, but it's more consistent and it's reusable. Um, so there was no variation in me putting on thermal paste and it's sometime, somehow getting messed up. So, you know, things can sometimes happen, so I wanted it to be as uh, fair a fight as possible. So the thermal pad works great, by the way. Um, I definitely recommend that. Um, but yeah! I ran my tests and uh, I have my results right here. I'm gonna throw up some footage of me basically just pointing this camera at my screen so um, basically to see some of the results. Again, I uh, let them get fully saturated, each one. Then I ran it for uh, about five minutes on load with Prime 95. Um, and then I would let it go for about another five minutes once it seemed like it was kind of uh, reaching its equilibrium and then I would make I would make sure that it was stable once it looked like it was going stable I would let it go for another five minutes to make sure it stayed there um, So the rose will with its stock fans Because I wanted to try it with its stock fans first um, The idle temperatures floated around 31 degree or 32 degrees Celsius um, And it was pretty consistent there although there was every now and then a little bit of a bump uh, Every now and then just because the computer was kind of just randomly would do stuff and there's nothing I can do uh, about that once I put a full load with Prime 95, however, it almost immediately shoots up into the 80s, like instantly, and then it eventually stabilized at around 90 degrees Celsius. So, uh, 
Not really looking good. Those aren't really good numbers for a um, AIO water cooler. Um, but I thought, okay, maybe it's the fans. Maybe the fans are just not strong enough to be pushing a lot of air. So I was like, hey, since I have this Cooler Master air cooler from my old build, um, why don't I try the fans? The fans seem very powerful. So I put those fans on there. And um, ironically, the numbers were worse. Um, same thing. Uh, basically, let it get equilibrium. Uh, the idle was 36 degrees Celsius. After letting it go for about five, six minutes, it seemed to stabilize. And after five more minutes, it definitely was stabilized at 91 degrees Celsius. I'm gonna, con I'm gonna consider those equal because a difference of one degree Celsius is not measurable enough to be considered like a definitive difference because there is going to be obviously uh, variation in the room no matter what. So practically identical, although the idle times on the stock fans seem to be lower. So then I thought, all right, let's put this thing up against the Cooler Master itself, which is, as you can see, it's still in there. Um, well, you can barely see, all you can see is the blue ring light, uh, the LED. So I put that in there, same setup. Uh, it seemed to idle around 31 degrees Celsius, uh, which is actually really nice. That's the lowest number I've gotten so far. Um, and it seemed very consistent. Like every now and then it would even dip into like the like upper 20s of like 28 degrees. Uh, every now and then it would fluctuate. And then after letting it have basically a full load for again, the, I'm just gonna say 10 minutes. Yeah, the 10 minutes, <laughs> I keep saying five and then five more minutes, it's 10 minutes. It maxed out at 78 degrees Celsius, which is, um, yeah, that is really good. And basically bloody stomps <laughs> the AIO from Roseville. Look how fast that just fucking plummets. Oh my God. Damn. Fucking Cooler Master air cooler just trouncing the Roseville water cooler. Holy crap. Oh wow, look how fast it goes down. Oh, beautiful. Um, so yeah, for the same price of the <laughs> Cooler Master, yeah, I would rather just go with the Cooler Master AIO, or not the Cooler Master AIO, the Cooler Master um, Air Cooler, as it just performed much better and it's still performing much better. I've had it in my computer the whole day and it's been doing great. Um, the, um, Oh, some of the specs I'm using, because I should have said at the beginning of the video, I'm using a uh, Ryzen 7 3700X, a GTX 1660 Super. Um, I've got the, I've got both of them overclocked. Uh, the CPU, which is the one that matters, is only overclocked to 4.0 gigahertz. That's an easy thing to do. Uh, 1.2 voltages, voltage. So nothing, like nothing groundbreaking, but also it's actually a really good, uh, because out of stock, it's 3.6, um, so not bad. That's about a, what, four, yeah, 0.4 gigahertz um, boost. So that's really good. But yeah, um, the case is a Cooler Master case. Um, I don't remember, why do I forget things so easily? I'm so bad at this. Uh, the case, shut up phone. The case is a Cooler Master Masterbox Q500L. Um, and it is, really, really nice. I really enjoy it. It's a great case. It's a smaller case than my old one. I wanted a new build this year um, for the beginning of this year, so it all worked really well. But yeah, this just kind of lets you know that um, you should be careful when buying cheaper uh, water coolers, as sometimes it's just more affordable to get the air cooler. I mean, this thing does way better. I will eventually want to come back and return to this, not with that AIO, but with one of uh, either Cooler Masters, Corsairs, uh, another color company's AIO, uh, one of their like kind of like low to mid tier AIOs, especially Cooler Master because they are coming out with some new models or not new models, they're taking their old models that they currently have on the market and they're updating them. So they're gonna have some revision versions coming out hopefully uh, this quarter, uh, the first quarter of uh, 2020. I'm looking forward to that and I would like to try them. Uh, but anyway, thank you so much for watching this video. I know it was a little different. I love tech. I love putting computers together. I love all this stuff. So I thought, why not have a little fun? Um, if you guys have any suggestions on things you would like to see me review uh, in the future, of course, go down in the comment section, leave a comment. Give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, if you would like to stay up to date with all my content. 
obviously just hit that subscribe button hit the bell notification as well if you want to stay up to date and um, I do encourage you please to leave some comments um, it really helps with the algorithm stuff um, share the video around all that kind of lovely stuff because YouTube's algorithm is a nightmare <laughs> it's such a pain in the ass but anyway check the description for stuff uh, you can actually get a PC part lick part liquor part liquor PC part liquor <laughs> PC part picker list of my stuff of what I got here oh it's been a day <laughs> and if you want to build one yourself <laughs> and um, yeah you can also see all my shows from medias and patreon all that crap uh, I stream on twitch thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video later everyone